As awesome as those sea creatures are, I am still so in love with just running around with this monkey on all fours. His all-terrainness, like you know he just wants to be peaceful in this bush. I run, rub one out, throw some crap around. He's just like us. What is going on guys? Right here playing another episode of Ark Survival Evolved Modded. Today, as you can see, I'm riding around on my giant monkey while wearing a Shrek mask, so my life is going pretty damn awesome right now. These, of course, are two separate mods. We have the Magic Chest set, or the Magic, yeah, the Magic Chest, not Chess, like the board game, like a chest of shit. And the Dino Overhaul mod, something I played a long time ago, which has just been updating like crazy. And yes, before anyone asked in the comment section, you can throw poop. Look at that. Unlimited right there. Don't even have to wait till you have to go again. You could probably kill your monkey from anemia. <laughs> He has an incredible deficiency of minerals because I'm always making a shit a thousand times a day, but he's useful. So, okay, now I'm going to ride down here and just pretty much, actually, why not show the masks off first? I'll just show the few awesome ones that I love specifically, and then you could explore the whole mod yourself later. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oosh. Dude, this thing has awesome all-terrain. He's going to be my steed for the entire mod now because I'm going to stare at this wall so you guys don't see what's behind me. We got to do it one at a time. Alright, here we have the Spider-Man mask. <laughs> look how, look how sick that is. Looks like a Spider-Man balloon. What the hell? We got the Joker for anyone who's feeling villainous in Batman. That is a super, that is like right out of Gmod right there. So, so of course it's pretty. Ooh, a Hulk mask. Damn, I haven't even put this one on yet. Oh, crap. It's like... The face is down as hell, but they just got lazy on the hair. Yeah, the face is done. Just throw some Lego hair on there. It's finished. <laughs> we have the Naruto mask, which is pretty damn cool. I never watched the show personally, but like half my friends are obsessed with it. So I understand it's pretty damn awesome. So I'm happy for a lot of you guys that that's here. What else do we got? Batman. Oh my God. This is, this is hilarious. They just, <laughs> that, I'm pretty sure that's just Batman right there. Look at that. Look how that goes down. Maybe if I had a full suit on, like a flak suit, oh, that would look badass. That would look like future Batman, where he's going to be fighting Superman. Can't wait for that, Batman. Got some awesome creatures all around us right there. All right, let's just look at a couple more. Let's look at the freaking, ooh, Predator with no helmet. That would be sick, because Predator was disgusting. Oh my god, that is awesome. Oh, oh, oh that is sick right there. Anyone who's ever seen any of the Predators or Alien vs. Predators, these are like the most vicious hunters in the galaxy. And, and their mouth is a vagina to top it off too, so they never even get lonely in space. And last but not least, I'll show you guys right here is the... Where is it? I guess we could look at Alien with armor too, because that is, that is also... F oh, man. If Shrek wasn't an option here, I'd probably stick with this. That is so official, especially if it had like the infrared and all the abilities that the actual mask has. Look how funny the alien mask is. It's like a realistic size proportional right there. Because <laughs> aliens are way bigger than humans. So if you put a head on, this is pretty much what it would look like. I like it though. I look like a, 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 a horizontally challenged sh hammerhead shark. It's pretty cool. <laughs> For anyone who has seen my much older videos that- God, it's so cool how high this monkey jumps. The Dino Overhaul mod was the one I showed where we had the Bull T-Rex and like some other kind of Apex Raptor. There wasn't Apexes yet in the game is the thing when that mod came out, so that was- That was pretty astounding stuff, so they've just continued to just re-evolutionize the creatures in this game. Over here we have King Frickin' Kong. And obviously the, uh, is it Megapithecus? There's the Gigantopithecus is the regular ones, and the Megapithecus is the actual King Kong-like boss that's gonna come out. I don't know if he hasn't come out, it's, he's, he's been supposed to come out any day apparently. He was supposed to come out on Friday with all the other ones. So for all I know, he could be coming out as I post this video, but right now, as I'm doing this, this is all I got. Come on, buddy. See, so he is freaking huge! He's, he's as you can imagine, just a super big Gigantopithecus. But he's even more- you can't ride him though. I force tamed him, you can't tame him either. But you can't ride him. I get he's supposed to be this untamable thing, but so is the Broodmother and you could ride that thing, so what the hell, man. Either way, here we have King Kong, who is just awesome to have at your back. I feel like they could have even made him a little bigger. Cause like, how big am I in comparison to your foot? Nope, you're a good size. I'm, I'm recalling like the most recent King Kong movie, where he would just toss around that pretty blonde lady. Even though I guess he did that in every King Kong movie. 
I'm going off palm to body size ratio right here. I can't believe I didn't name you. You know what? It's not too late. You shall be named Dandy Shits. Because if you, if you haven't seen so far, he takes the dandiest of shits. Look at that. We can even drop you, sir. And I wish this guy was in the game, because he's just... This, what this mod does is makes, there's the regular creatures, and then there's the apexes, which we already have. It changes the colors of the apexes, and it adds megas of certain creatures. Right here we have a mega monkey. Actually, or is this an apex monkey? Yep, it's just a regular old apex alpha monkey, which of course aren't in the game. You're gonna have to stop following me, you're freaking terrifying. So they didn't feel the need to add megas also. Things that there already are apexes of, there are megas of in here. Like over here, we can see this sexy bastard right here is the Apex. See, they've completely changed his colors, and they've added the Mega Carno, which is just giant and red. It's, it's just basically an Alpha T-Rex. Pretty sure it's just as big as well. Over here, we have, see, here's the Apex Raptor. They've changed his colors, made him look a lot more venomous. Here's a regular Carno for size comparison, for people who are into that. I know I am. But here we have a Mega Raptor. They just get redder and redder. Which is weird, you'd think the thing that would become Apex, most like top of the food chain, would be the one that blends in with the landscape more so we could be a better hunter. Not really sure how that would work out, but I'm not hating it. Look at the freaking size of this thing. I'm wee petite up here. This is my swamp. So yeah, these are, these are sick. Also untamable though, so don't get your hopes too high up if you install this mod in your game, which I recommend you do. These things... Already just right here is so much fun. Just this guy alone is worth downloading. Over here, I know I'm getting sidetracked. There's just awesome stuff all around me right now and I don't know how to process it. Over here, get to you in a second. We have an Apex Titan Oboa. There aren't already ti or Apexes, so there's no Mega. I don't know what the hell he's doing here. I think they just changed the color on these guys a little. Although I noticed no difference. But yeah, here we have an Apex Titan Oboa. Much bigger than the regular ones. Unfortunately, the spawn for the regular ones is down right now, so I can't present one right here as a size comparison. But, but if you've dealt with Titan Oboas in your uh, art career, you can know the head is not supposed to be this big. Looks like his eyes didn't grow though. It's unfortunate. Over here we have a giant Titan Mirma, Mega Ants, as I call them incorrectly, which we can ride. So that's super cool. This is totally a Shrek vehicle right here. This and Fiona. Over here we have an Apex Pteranodon, which is one of the sickest things ever. Look at its colors too, it looks like its native land is the galaxy. Or like, we're all native land in the galaxy. The Milky Way! Look how it's kinda ugly because I don't have a saddle on it, but still look at the freaking size of this thing! It's an Argentavis sized Pteranodon, and for that I am thankful. Of course, it still can't pick up things much bigger though, it's got the same pickup ratio, right? Yep. Otherwise, we'd be able to pick up a giant worm. But for real, I was very excited about this, because there's so much, there's like, there's much bigger versions of flying creatures that they've left out. Alright, this these beasts over here that I've been ignoring, let's get over to them. Before I show those monsters over there, here we have just a normal T-Rex. You all know the size of Apex T-Rexes, and the coloring is just like that. But now here we have the Mega T-Rex, which is just it's just insane! Look at the size of that head! It's kind of silly how freaking big these things are getting. There's like nothing that could stop this. Actually, there is one thing that could stop this that I still haven't gotten to yet. Here we have the Mega Demorphodons, which would definitely end up ruling the world if they existed. <laughs> these ones, they went trippy on me because they do have normal Demorphodons, and they made Apexes, and they made Megas, but that might just be because... These things are awesome. Unfortunately, even when they're force tamed, you can't ride them though. Which which is just lame sauce. If you could somehow combine the mod that lets you ride Demorphodons with this one, I know the, the developers would have to make Oh look at that mouth, dude! Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. Over here we have a normal spider. This is what you're used to dealing with right here. Here we have the modded version. Much bigger, much deadlier looking. The brighter colors definitely signify it's much more venomous, and the white legs just give me shivers. It's like, get a tan. No, it's, it's... I don't know, they just look a lot more detailed. The hair sticks out more. I obviously can't talk. If I whipped out my thighs right now, I could blind him. So I'll keep that in my back pocket. Look what they did to the broodmother. 
they've changed or changed he he or she I don't know the sex of the developer but they have changed the colors of the broodmother for the best now this looks like it's fresh out of some nebula also I'd almost be convinced that the back is gonna open up and shoot some giant purplish bluish plasma beam out into the universe oh my game throws that's how you know stuff's getting stuff's getting too crazy all right so I just showed you guys most of the awesome stuff in this mod, enough reasons for most people to want to download it, to be honest. I already want to super get up on this. There's a bunch of little things too, like there's alpha fiomas and things like that, that um, that gather a lot of fiber. There's they, He's added on a lot of cool stuff. This, uh, this mod is quite fancy. Alright, come on! Oh cool, check out these guys too! I just saw it real quick on the, uh on the thing and I wanted to check it out and they're beautiful see everything's so much prettier with this mod a little unrealistic you wouldn't last very long in this actually blue blends in with stuff who am I to say what will happen to you you little blastoise bastard alright now let's go down to the water and spawn some more alphas more importantly oh wait no they're not even an alpha it's a mega the mega freaking megalodon which is kind of a oh god we're gonna die if we jump down there monkey <laughs> We need to find a less steep path. I believe he made a new version of the coal, the piranhas. Those should just be different colors. There's an apex plesiosaur and a mega megalodon, which I have just said. It looks like that's... Uh, but what's the point in taking a giant monkey if we have to take the normal routes? By the way, do you guys see the incredible all-terrain right now of this monkey? He could jump so high, pretty much do anything. Look at that. We are actually riding on a giant monkey right now and it feels like it. Oh, don't over jump it! DON'T UNDER JUMP IT! NO MONKEY! Okay, we actually didn't take that much damage. It is a giant monkey. Oh, come on, dandy shits. You know what? You should have known he was gonna stop and take some dandy dumps. Okay, at least it barely hurts us. It's like, what's the point in jumping super high if it kills us? This is awesome right here. Everybody should have a giant monkey. <laughs> this is the most all-terrain beast by far. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill it. There, for the sake of the mod review, I've activated stats so we can see the limits I can push this thing to, because look at that jumping. Oh my god. Okay, if anyone's watching this who is in contact with the developer, or by chance the developer's watching this, can you please can you please tweak it so they're able to jump to their standards? Like, uh, like if something, like I'm only able to jump like two, three feet high because anything higher would hurt my legs. Just kind of match it how evolution would. Obviously, you're still constantly working and updating stuff, though. I'm just dropping a little a little opinion in the opinion bucket. <laughs> this is awesome, man. This, is, this isn't this is buggy. I was a little worried when I first spawned him in that it was going to be buggy and not work as well because a lot of things are in a lot of these mods. This is the smoothest ride I've ever had. So look, look at Shrek smiling his ass off. Look at this. I haven't seen him this happy since he got married. Unfortunately, I'm playing this right before the swamp and snow biome. They've been supposed to come out for like a day and a half now. But as soon as I post this, the swamp's gonna be available. And I'm just gonna miss all these this is my swamp jokes. <laughs> you know what? I'm not losing the mask. I'll keep it. Before I do anything. Okay, I was gonna throw a turd at that spino, but... Oh, look! An albino carno. And a... Oh, okay, everything's just getting eaten around here. You may think you can catch me. I cannot be caught with my vicious shit-flinging abilities that are, for some reason, breaking the game right now. <laughs> Can we throw- Aw, oh, man, if we could jump and throw in the air. Damn it, we just jump. We need, like, quicker launching. One of the stats we should be able to up should be shit-flinging speed and size of turds. That would be phantasmagorical. If this monkey could match, like, its realistic monkey- Oh my god, and we can swim on it. Holy crap, this is the perfect animal right here. I'm in love. <laughs> but if this monkey could actually adapt to fighting abilities of what an actual monkey would do, a monkey this size would be jumping on top of raptors, ripping their mouths in half, doing some crazy stuff. Oh, we caught one of these the other night, and, and like it, we, we decorated it a lot. I, I don't know if I've already showed you. I swear to god, if, if I end up showing you before this video is posted, I'm going to be very upset. But just know... Either this is in the past or the future, I'm very excited to show you guys. Alright, where is this ocean I keep hearing about? <laughs> Holy crap, you know what else? If swinging from tree to tree, at least jump to tree, and then jump to a tree near it, jump to a tree near it, just kind of angling which tree you go towards with the, uh, with the arrow keys. Or not arrow keys, double, o, double W A S D. 
You know what I'm trying to say. That would be awesome. Honestly, there should just be these in the game. They should be very rare. Occasionally you run into one. I'm pretty sure if these things are prehistoric, they'd have been bigger. I'm not even sure which era these guys come from. I'm gonna check the dossier right after this and find out why you're not always this size. Oh my god! Look at all these pteranodons. What the hell? This is beautiful. Oh, lovely. I'm sure it won't lag if I start sprinting through freaking Bronto Forest. <gasps> we have some modded out packies. Oh, you could. Whoa! Hey now! What the hell? Raptors! Everyone run! Actually, I wonder if this game. Can you just load the map already? Jesus Christ. It's the same every time. <laughs> I'm not throwing you any curveballs here. I think this game almost makes the creatures adapt because it was original intentions was to make the thing more realistic like that so i wonder like make the animals harder to tame uh, harder to kill bigger you know and i think they um i think they're more pack oriented now too because between these well brontos are always in large packs but i've never seen so many pteranodons in one spot my favorite thing about this monkey is it could jump so freaking high it's like it's the bee's knees man it is now it's rendering the map really- I wish I could slap this thing's ass as I ran by it. <laughs> if I actually was an Ark, I would be a chasty bastard. Jump up 30 feet, slap a Bronto's ass, then keep riding. Yep, that'd be my afternoon. <laughs> Johnny, can you please go get food without slapping Bronto ass today? I'll try, man. Dude, these coal are actually pretty sick. I mean, we've all seen like super rainbow colored coal before, but all of these ones are fancy. Well, that one's not very fancy, but this one more than makes up for it. Oh, he's looking right at me. He's giving me sex eyes. Get out of here. There we go. This is a perfect place to do this. Got my monkey up on a perch. Why does that perch look so much nicer, though, monkey? We gotta get to that one. God, I freaking love how all-terrain we are. This is the best pet ever. I'm so in love with you. Oh, crap. Megalodon's everywhere. Luckily, we can swim like a sir. Get me up on that rock. If we could get one foot down, we could jump up all we need. Just need to get one f That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Right up on the monkey perch. And we could easily jump to land from here. God, this is awesome. Ah! Let's just leave you here. Don't go anywhere. Douchebags everywhere. Alright, even though I think that's one right there, I froze everything. You guys have all seen normal Megalodons. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't freeze everything because he's just going to get stuck in the air. But now it is time to see the Mega Megalodons. Oh, crap! I'm inside of him! Oh, no, we defeated him! We insta-vaporized him! Yeah, that skill right there. Uh-huh. Nobody go for me. I'm just your friendly neighborhood Hulk. I'm not Hulk. I'm Shrek. Get it right. Alright. There we go. There we go. Come on, this is my beef is not with you. <laughs> okay. Ew, he just looks like some chick getting her period in the ocean. Look at that giant cloud of red going that way. But that is how you signify that he is a mega. Oh, that's malarkey. You can't ride him. What is that? What is- Holy shit! This guy is huge! Now this is what a freaking megalodon would look like. Ah! Oh my god. That scared the hell out of me. I whistled and he just shot- Oh, he kills them all in one hit. Holy crap, look at him just vaporizing everything in here. He's too damn big. Oh, I'm on top of him. He scooped me up for safety. <laughs> he did it again. I love this guy. Dude, he is just his own island. This shark is too damn big. <laughs> look at him just vaporizing all the local ocean life. I love this guy. Oh my god, this is perfect. Shark weather as well. Well, this is just awesome if you're just gonna keep scooping me up, but can you scoop me this way by any chance? He keeps pushing me deeper out into the ocean. This would really scare me in real life. Okay. Alright, stop it. Let me go to shore now. And then he pulls you back more. I'm like, okay. Let me go to shore now. <laughs> Holy ass, that thing is too damn big. Alright, go ahead and plop you there. Chill, brother. Look how noble he is up there. Yeah, you know what? The piranhas aren't that different either, because they're actually this this colorful in the normal game. God, he is like my these two right there are my two favorite bits of the mod so far. I just love these things. He is the ultimate water defense. No one is ever going to talk shit with that thing behind you. Oh my god, you go right underwater and there's this graveyard. 
You crazy bastard. Look at the size of that mouth. Was it three layers of teeth? Holy crap. And here we have the Alpha Plesiosaur. This was just an Alpha, not a Mega. And we're stuck. Crap. <laughs> this is... <gasps> no. We are way too big for me to be spawning you on land. Look at that size comparison. You look like his baby. These alphas are freaking nuts, dude. This thing is... Oh my god, I can't imagine the mansion you could build on this thing's back. Unfortunately, it would still probably max out at the exact same weight or amount of structures, though. So that sucks, but still. It's so awesome to have regular size and then extra insanely huge size. Especially since there aren't even alpha plesiosaurs in the game yet. And how are there not megalodons that are that freakishly big? I'm pretty sure they were that big in real life. I mean, I'm no, I'm no expert or nothing, but I know they were pretty damn huge. Either way, this plesiosaur is all, oh god, I could just ride my pathway of oversized, oh, of course he's all black and gray. Just makes him so much more intimidating of a shark. Oh my god, you're so getting me to buy monkey right now. If I time that tail just right, go, timed it horribly, crap, oh. Man, how many of you guys wish it wasn't a really foggy day in Ark right now for this? I know I do. We're gonna make it right onto that guy. Oh god, this monkey overjumped it! <gasps> that would have been beautiful! Right onto his head! As awesome as those sea creatures are, I am still so in love with just running around with this monkey on all fours. His all-terrainness, like, you know he just wants to be peaceful in this bush. I run, rub one out, throw some crap around. He's just like us. Oh yeah, I froze everything. Oh god. I've made a shit pentagon! Alright guys, well that pretty much wraps the mod up. If you want to download either of these mods, they're both in the description. If you enjoyed the content, smack that like button, subscribe for more, but most importantly, have a nice day. Peace!